Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about the difference between a swamp and a marsh, and a fen and a bog. Each of these areas are wetlands. Wetlands are areas that are saturated with water. The amount of water present in a wetland can vary greatly. Some wetlands are always flooded, while others are only seasonally flooded, but remain saturated with water during the unflooded period. Marshes are wetlands that support a variety of reeds and grasses. Let's take a trip through a marsh. The Florida Everglades is one of the largest continuous freshwater marshes in the entire world. This marsh covers over 4,200 square miles. Swamps, on the other hand, are similar to marshes but contain plants and trees. Let's take a trip to a swamp. The Okefenokee Swamp in the United States, which falls on the Georgia-Florida border, is over 430 square miles. Let's take a look. A bog is a low-lying area that collects water when it rains and snows. Bogs are dominated by sphagnum moss. The water collects and builds up over time and becomes very acidic and low in oxygen. This slows decay and the moss just builds up over time and creates a type of soil called a peat. A fen is also a peat generating wetland, but it is supplied by a water source other than rainfall or snow like a bog. This water source may be an underground stream or groundwater. As a result, the soil is not as acidic as a bog and is not quite as oxygen poor and this allows for a greater diversity of plants and animals to live in a fen. If you'd like to know more about bogs, fens, marshes, and a swamp, this playlist may help. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.